Oh, I'm really excited. I can't wait for people to see it. You know, it's, an, it's a comedy, it's, it's horror, it's Nick Cage, it's Nick Holt, it's Aquafina. I'm really excited about it. I mean, I got to work with Nick Cage. He's a hero of mine. Um, somebody I've, I've been, I've been, you know, enjoyed his movies since I was a little kid. And to be able to work with him, someone who's so generous and giving on set, it's been a really amazing experience. My favorite uh, quote from Nick Cage was, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. And so that's probably my favorite memories. If you're in a toxic relationship, uh, you can take your power back. That's the thing that people should remember. Christian Tinsley, who's our makeup artist, he did an incredible job with Dracula, Lisa LaVos, with his costumes. Um, they, they did amazing work to be able to make Dracula look like he's you know, going through this big transformation from being completely destroyed in the beginning of the movie to the full power of Dracula at the end of the movie. You tell me that Dracula from Vampire's Kiss is coming back and we're doing something even crazier and more over the top? I love it. Honestly, if nothing else, I want them to take a sense of optimism that honestly, that nothing's too dark, that even in the darkest times, if a vampire owns your life, you can still find a way to make it better. I'm feeling good, yeah, I'm happy to be here. This is exciting. Hopefully people like the movie. Ah, I was, I was felt so lucky to be reunited with Nick. I mean, we made a movie when I was 14. I, was, I played his son in a movie called The Weatherman, which is a movie that I'm really proud of and I think stands the test of time. And so to get to reunite with him on this and, and, and learn more of him. You know, I learned a lot when I was 14, but as an, adult go, as an adult going back to work with him again and having more of an appreciation of his filmography and the work he's done and the iconic characters he's created, um, I felt really lucky. When you're 14, you don't fully understand it. And I hadn't, hadn't seen all his movies and everything. And I knew it was a big deal, but I, like, you know, I wasn't fully aware. And then going back as an adult, I'm like, oh my gosh. I went back watching Raising Arizona and Moonstruck and Adaptation and all these movies and being like, oh my, this man is, is a huge part of cinema. So to get him combined playing Dracula in this movie is just like something that's iconic. And we were lucky. One of the things that I loved most about watching him was um, where he draws inspiration from. Um, because he, he, he takes from other movies, uh, his personal life, but he just fuses them into moments that you wouldn't expect and makes interesting choices um, that are really fun uh, to watch because of that. One of my favorite kind of movies is the blend between comedy and horror. I went to see American Werewolf in London as a teenager and I just loved that experience because I was laughing and then I was screaming and it just kept knocking me around and I, I like being kept off guard and I think this movie is trying to hit that bullseye. Hopefully we'll see what happens. Well, I just had a lot of laughs with Nick Holt. I mean, he's, he's just got impeccable timing and there were a few times that I, I couldn't stop laughing watching what he was doing and Aquafina was superb. She's got the, she has the greatest voice in Hollywood. I love everything she does, so I was blessed to work with a really, really cool cast. It's toxic. It's, uh, I'm sure those two had a lot of fun together in a very mischievous and naughty way maybe a hundred years ago, but now the relationship has turned sour and uh, Renfield wants out. Well, you know, that was um, four different Dracula looks. And the, the most uh, time uh, intensive was what we called the Picasso look, when Dracula comes back from being burnt to a crisp. And it was just it, like everything was sort of in the wrong place, like a Picasso painting in a really great way. Christian Tinsley was the makeup artist. He did a fantastic job. And then as Dracula began to heal, then the, the chair time went from eight hours to four hours and then to two hours. But I liked it. You know, it was kind of a relaxing. It's almost like a gentle shiatsu, like people touching and then I would drift off to sleep and then come back. I putting the makeup on. Nick, can you wake up? Nick, you gotta sit up now. <laughs> but it was a good experience. I always wanted to do that. You know, I was a fan of the old Lon Chaney movies. I always thought that it'd be great to work with prosthetics and that maybe that would help inform the character internally, what you could do externally. Cage is one of the most prepared, buttoned down, like dedicated actors I've ever seen. Everything from his movement to his dialogue, everything is absolutely perfect. New Orleans is great. I mean, New Orleans is like 
the only thing we have that's anything close to a European city. It really feels like it has castles, even though it necessarily doesn't. It's a great setting for a vampire movie. Nicolas Cage and Nicholas Holt worked so well together, and obviously with Aquafina. Um, you know, Cage is such a natural leader, but he was also so deferential to Nicholas Holt because he is our star, he is Renfield, and so he would always let him kind of set the tone, set the pace, and play with him. So it was really cool to see that dynamic where you have this legacy actor who's actually following in pulse. This movie can change your life, that if you're in a bad spot, you should really believe in your gut and believe in yourself and that you can, you can get out. Don't give your power to anybody else. Keep it for yourself and, you know, your good things will happen. Usually I'm a part of tragedies or dramas, but this one was so fun and working with amazing you know, actors like Nicholas Holt, Nicholas Cage, Aquafina, Martinez. It was, we had such a good time and all we did we laughed throughout making it and that's what we hope that the audience will do. We would love for the audience to enjoy themselves as much as they can because this is really a modern monster, a modern monster tale that is funny. It's gory, it's bloody, but at the same time, it's hilarious. There's action, there's comedy, there's gore, there's horror. So I think us mixing all those things together and threading that needle just right is what I think people will take away and love. And I get to play a bad guy. I never get to play a bad guy. I get racing scenes, I get chasing scenes, I get fight scenes, I get beat up. It's like, it's heaven. I watched like Donnie Brasco, I watched Mean Streets, I watched Scarface, and I thought that this character would have all those posters on his wall, but he could never be any of them. He just wants to be them, do you know what I mean? So I thought that'd be a funny thing to see those people and then just someone trying to achieve that and just failing miserably. The most fun is in between the scenes when they say cut and we're sitting on our little actor chairs, but he's still dressed as Dracula, and I'm like, Nick. Loved adaptation. Can we talk about it? Sure. And like, so it's the best in the universe. I loved uh, doing my fight scenes with Nick Holt because I, I just loved Nick Holt and he was so good. And then anytime I got to talk to Nick Cage, he's a just like a museum of incredible stories. He's lived so many different lives and he's been in every movie we've ever seen. So it's like to talk to him about filmmaking is incredible. It was fun to get to play a really grounded character in a big, scary movie, in a big, like, wild universe that has no idea that that side of the world exists. He's like a legend playing a legend, and I think that's like a perfect, a perfect harmony when you get those two things. I mean, he's so cool, so fun to watch. I mean, I've seen the movie, and I know that there's a thousand great things that he did, I'm sure, that, did, that are on the editing room floor for no other reason than just how can you get it all in there, because he is, everything is great. What I hope that they can take away from it is the recognizing like, oh wait, this is a movie that is really fun, it's funny, it's silly, gory, like limbs, blood everywhere, but at the same time has something to say about relationships in today's modern world. I've never been around this much fake blood in my entire life, and that many wires, like people suspended, and it was a very, very fun night.